Thank you PCB Way for sponsoring this video. My daughter recently went to the orthodontist and while I wasn't there at the first one, they essentially put one of these, a 3D scanner, inside her mouth. Now obviously you can't fit this in your mouth, but when I went back for a follow-up, the orthodontist was excited to talk about 3D printing. He just got a bamboo carbon, wanted to show the app, and eventually I asked him, can I get the STL files from my daughter's teeth? And he said, yeah, no problem. Uh, so we sent them over and there were a bit of, pro there was some problems. It wasn't a complete model. It was just one thin polygonal layer. So we need to fix that. And I'm gonna show you how to do the same thing. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is drag over our file to import it using the select tool. We're just gonna lasso and highlight some polygons. It does go beneath. So let's make sure we don't have any removed underneath. Looks good. We don't need these. That's good. All right, so to get these above the top of the palette here, we're going to select all by doing Control A, go to Edit and Extrude. And then we're just gonna change our offset. It'll preview, so we go negative. I'm gonna go negative as far as I can. And you can see it just offsets the entire model. Every vertice goes higher or lower. So this looks good. Don't worry about how ugly it looks so far. So we're gonna accept that. All right, so Control A, Edit, Plane Cut. That's gonna give us this plane. Uh, the transparent part underneath is going to be removed. So let's flip this over to 180 degrees. There we go. Make sure we're not, let's raise this so we're not cutting off the bottom here. All right, then we can accept. Well, it's analysis, then inspector. We're just gonna check for issues. There are issues here. If we click the pink areas, it will fill in holes for us. All right, one more step. So we're going to edit and make solid. And there's our final model. So we're going to save this. We're gonna export it. Okay, so PCBWay did sponsor this video and they're an excellent sponsor for this because if you don't have a 3D printer and you want these, this teeth printed, you can come here. We're gonna upload it. So we'll drag and drop our two files here. Now while it's uploading, they'll give us options for quantity, size, material, color. Uh, if we choose PLA, we have our selection of colors we can do, but for the most accuracy, you'll probably want resin anyway. And so for example, one of these teeth is about $5, which is convenient because if you use my link in the description below, you'll save $5 off your first order. For All right, so we're gonna import the lower and do the same thing. Our mesh looks pretty good. I don't have to delete anything. Okay, so let's control A. We're going to extrude. We're gonna go, that works, all right. Accept. Control A, edit, clean cut. That actually looks like a good spot. We can raise it, save ourselves some filament. I like where that's at. All right, then again, the solid piece is what we keep, the transparent piece is what we throw away. Let's accept that. All right, we got this big old hole down here. So, Control A, the edit button over here, and make solid. Now that it's done, we have a set of bottom teeth. And again, we'll export that. So you have your own 3D printer. So next step would be to import it into your slicer. I'm using Bamboo Studio. So let's just drag it over into here. Now I want multiple objects, not a single object, because it is going to be in the correct orientation, which isn't going to be good for printing. So this one here, we're just gonna flip it over. And I like to, I just prefer this orientation anyway. I will also, 
I will also scale these up. So let's center it. Scale them. So we get some big old chompers. Now that we have the scale that we want, as long as they're uniformly scaled, they should fit like any teeth. Of course, you can do global or project. You can change your layer height, any of that stuff. So let's slice it. And this print's gonna take about three hours. So again, now that it's over, three hours later, I have a set of teeth. You can see, but man, does she need some braces and I'm gonna pay for it. So hopefully in a couple of years, I'll have a before and after and it'll be really cool to look at. So if you get your own single layer mesh, whether it's teeth or something else, you can fix it in Autodesk Mesh Mixer, which is completely free to download. All right, like and subscribe if you liked it and I will see you later.